very good morning. And today we would like to do uh, run, to run our PBL, which is the problem based learning. And uh, I am as the chairman, and this is uh, my team leader is uh, Ika Irina, and that is um, participant one, uh, Akrima. Participant two, Shafika. Participant three, Najiha, and participant four, Suraya. And uh, the one is recording is <laughs> cameraman, uh, which is a cameraman. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, our scenario for for our PBL is uh, a patient with atopic eczema, which is AE. Uh, is brought to the hospital Kuala Lumpur under the, the dermatology department uh, and he's being requested to diagnose uh, using optical equipment. There are three sections of area within the atopic enzyme patient, uh, patient of the hand skin, uh, which are the AE region, uh, AE region, healthy skin region and the unknown region. Um, our objective is to identify the unknown region which is toward to AE region or healthy region and after this I will pass to our team leader Ika Irina. First of all, I am Norika Irina. So today I would like to explain what is eczema is. Eczema is a condition where a skin uh, having rashes or uh, inflamed, itchy or cracked and the skin condition is like a rough condition. So now I would like to explain the causes of the eczema. Because eczema is, there are many types of causes. First is might be from the food because the person might be allergic to the food such as dairy or nuts. Next, um, might be uh, the person or the victim might be using the irritants sometimes as well, such as detergent, soap and juices from the fresh juice. Next, um, uh, Maybe uh, might be we use the weather such as cool or too hot for the temperature. Next is uh, stress and hormone is not the causes because is is only trigger the symptom to become worse. Next, I uh, will explaining that there are few types of eczema. Uh, it's not only the atopic eczema, but there are another five or six to a, a type of eczema such as allergic. Dysrotic, neurodermatitis, pneumula, and several several height. So I will be explaining the sim symptom of the eczema. Uh, I will it will be in I will clarify into three groups, which is first is symptom in infants or the baby. The baby usually the rashes or uh, the rashes appear at the cheek or on the scalp. For the and the rashes usually bubble up and get uh, and produce clear uh, uh i mean produce some liquid will be produced out once it's swallowed up next is symptom in the children uh for the age of two age for two usually appear at the knee uh, at the elbow knees and the neck um sometimes the rashes might be lightened or darken the region okay lastly is symptom in the adult for the elder, uh, usually the itchy is permanent and is very uh, cover all over the body. So next, I'll be talking about the treatment or to diagnose the the diseases. So the first treatment uh, or the first method is using the traditional or and the second is the technology modern technology. Uh, I will uh, I will ask the first participant Akrima. Okay. Uh, so I would like to ask uh, first part participant, our first participant, Akrima, uh, what is the example of treatment can be used uh, by using method, a uh, traditional method? Uh, there are several treatment for traditional option for eczema. Uh, for example, is uh, emol emoline uh, cream. Uh, emoline cream can keep your skin moisturizer for your chance for by avoid uh, eczema. Uh, for the second is traditional Chinese treatment uh, like acupuncture. Uh, number three is uh, apply bandage uh, to to cover the affect area with bandage to help pro protect the skin prevent by stretching. And the last is uh, wear cool smooth texture clothing to reduce irritation. Uh, so I would like to ask uh, this method or this uh, 
start usually is apply used by the elders by the battery because it's normally called nat traditional traditional is usually by the adult so I'd like to ask what is the advantages come from this method uh, advantages for the treatment uh, traditional is not advanced safe and uh, it can relieve itching on contact and effect uh, is fast reliever and easy to get the treatment so next what is the disadvantage disadvantages of using traditional method uh, the disadvantages is long term to heal and difficult to care uh, less effective over the time and close monitoring and it's considered a longer treatment and excessive uh, use risk can can affect the seizure poisoning and by ingest, ingestion and cancer risk Okay, thank you participant uh, first participant, Akrima. Okay, next, moving to the next point, which is we are using the modern technology method. And I would like to know there are many types of can we can, can be used. So I would like to ask participant two, we are named Shafika, what is the example of method can, that can we can use to heal or to cure or to diagnose the eczema disease? Uh, which uh, we use in technology is phototherapy. What is a phototherapy? Phototherapy also called light therapy means treatment with a special kind of light. Phototherapy represents a valid second line intervention in those cases when non pharmacological and topical measures have failed. Phototherapy use uh, ultraviolet light for treatment of eczema. Ultraviolet light is a type of electromagnetic radiation, uh, SR radio wave, infrared radiation, X-ray, and gamma ray. Ultraviolet light, which come from the sun, is invisible for human eyes. Phototherapy is effective in creating refractory atopic dermatis. This treatment may be administered as ultraviolet A UVA, ultraviolet B UVB, or combined UVA and UVB. Prosorolin plus UVA, PUVA. Photochemotherapy may be treatment option in patients with intensive refractory disease. So sorry for interrupting. Sorry for interrupting, too. So I would like to ask from your explanation for this description, can I know what is the function of photography itself? Function. Okay. The phototherapy is to help uh, reduce itchy, claim inflammation, increase vitamin D production, and ramp up bacteria fighting system in the skin. Okay, from the, the, the explanation, it's really open our eyes that the modern technology is really helping in curing the, the diseases. So, after the function, usually it comes with risk. So, I would like to ask participant two again, what is the risk of using this modern technology instead of the advantages? Okay, the risk uh, of using uh, phototherapy is uh, is you are uh, the risk of using this phototherapy are burns, increase again and increase risk of a skin cancer over time are uh, all significant significant risk with any type of phototherapy. Ice protected Ice protection must be worn for every treatment to prevent damage to the eyes. The example for burning is artificial UV light, like nature sunlight, can cause can cause sunburn and Distering skin may redden and itchy. People who have a light complexion have more tendency to burn and may not be able to tolerate too much UV light therapy. Next is skin damage. This is over the time can become wrinkled and fractured. The skin will darker as with a sun type and brown spot may form. And the last skin cancer. Although there is a proof that light therapy causes skin cancer, we know that prolonged exposure to UV light can cause skin, skin cancer. So this is 
theoretical possibility and it's important to limit exposed as much as possible. Yes. So Shafika, I would like to ask in a, after you have explained the risk, can I know what is the advantages of us of for us using the method? The Okay, the advantages of the using phototherapy is it may be effective for several eczema or eczema that does not respond to other treatment and it also can prevent stretching and help stop the skin drying out. From the advantages and disadvantages, I would like to, I would like to ask uh, Shafika, what, what can we expect from the phototherapy? Is it really cure the is it really cure diseases or because as I know there's no cure for this uh, disease there's only way to prevent so may I know how do you expect do you put high expectation to for this method What should you expect with phototherapy first during your visit you will apply a moisturizing oil to the skin and stand in the cabinets under undress except for underwear and protective goggles. The machine will be activated for a short time, usually just second to a minute, and will take the entire body or just certain exposed area. Careful, like, careful, careful record a keep of your response, and the light is slow, slowly increased with each treatment. After several, several months of treatment, the frequency of the visit can sometimes be reduced to once or twice a week. If this continues to improve, phototherapy can be stopped for a period to see if the eczema is remission. If successful, some patients may, start, may restart the cycle or simply come over or twice weekly to maintain the their improvement and next when it does work it is not a rapid improvement like some treatment it generally took one to two months of steady treatment is necess necessary to start to see the improvement thank you shafika for the long explanation and we are now uh, now well explained for the what is modern technology used, which is phototherapy? Okay, next, moving to the next participant, which is Najiha. I would like to ask what technology or what system is used, uh, I mean, what technology is used in the system of phototherapy? So, uh, maybe my, I might know, may, 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 may I know what technique or what technology used? Okay, um, there are my part is sensor in phototherapy technique. Okay, there are three types of UV light treatment used in phototherapy for atopy eczema. They are broadband UVB, narrowband UVB, and UVA. UVA, we, uh, we have two of it. Uh, that is PUVA and UVA1. Okay, for broadband UVB, broadband UVB is the original phototherapy that has been used for 80 years and the length of treatment increases of each visit unless the skin becomes pink. And then uh, broadband UVB is not very effective as uh, at clearing skin conditions such as eczema and has now largely been replaced with a different type of UVB called narrowband UVB. Okay, for the narrowband UVB, uh, in narrowband UVB, uh, we use uh, the light tube is produced a narrow part of the UVB spectrum by using two wavelengths between 311 and 313 nanometer, which penetrate more effectively into the skin than the older broadband sources. The dose uh, of UV given at each treatment is also higher compared to the broadband dose because many of the unwanted wavelengths that cause burning are excluded. Once clearing is achieved, narrowband UV can often induce a longer period of clear skin. A cost of treatment to clear eczema involves two or three appointments per week, uh, which is a total of 20 to 40 treatments, depending on the response. Uh, for the time span, in the machine at the beginning is very short and gradually increases at each visit. UVB narrowband is therefore theoret theoretically safer and more effective than UVB broadband. But it requires uh, either longer treatment times or equipment with more bulbs to achieve maximum dose, which is a post light on site of my skin reddening after treatment known as uh, sub erythema. Okay, for the PUVA, which is a uh, sorelin UVA, sorelin are uh, tricidic natural or synthetic UV photosensitive. 
sen citizen that combine of furans and coumarin. It is a light sensitive drug that absorbs ultraviolet along with UVA light and acts like a ultraviolet radiation. Sorelin are used together with uh, PVA therapy to treat skin conditions such as uh, vitiligo, eczema, psoriasis and skin problems related to certain lymphoma. This treatment can be performed by means of PVA therapy wherein the skins of a patient are exposed to treatment respectively. Sorelin are either taken orally or applied topically where the patient soak in a bath containing the sorelin, the UVA light is applied to treat the skin condition. Uh, for instance, uh, sorelin medication is taken 45 to 60 minutes prior to the ultraviolet light exposure. The amount of the sorelin is based on the weight of the patient and the length of the exposure is depend on the degree of the uh, patient pigmentation. And then, uh, depending on the equipment used, the exposure may occur in a metal light box surrounding the patient with the bulbs that run vertically and are generally 48 inches long and resemble fluorescent bulb. Uh, for the in the newer boxes, there is an integrated light meter that enables the operator to administer, administer the desired amount of energy with an automatic shut off as, after that dosage of light is achieved. Uh, major advantage of this this PUVA is that it is an effective therapy that becomes active only at the site of the exposure. It can be used to treat large area of skin. And the fact that the drug is only activated, activated in the presence of a UV light implies that it may be less toxic than other therapies. Uh, PUVA, however, has a definite potential to cause skin cancer, including melanomas. The risk of de developing skin cancer is directly related to the amount of energy administered. PUVA also will cause water aging that is unavoidable and if not appropriately monitored, it can produce severe ultraviolet light burns. Okay, for the last one is UVA1. UVA1 is the name given to the wavelength of electromagnetic radiation ranging from 340 until 400 nanometer. It is a photography fil that filters out lower wavelength. Uh, it penetrates deep into the reticular layer of the dermis, acting on a fibroblast, dendritic cell, and inflammatory cell, particularly T cell lymphocyte as well as mast cell and granulocyte. Uh, it's radiation-induced apoptosis, or we call it as cell death, in the presence of active oxygen molecules such, such as uh, single oxygen, hydrogen peroxide, or superoxide radicals. Uh, it activates program that induce a non program that is natural cell death. In this treatment, it, uh, it typically consists of metal halide lamps that are equipped with a special optical filter. The smaller units provide localized therapy, whereas whole body treatment can be carried out using a lie-down or standing UVA1 cabinet. This treatment is performed five times a week, usually for three to four weeks. However, there are no strict guidelines for its use and therefore the dose and number of irradiation can be adjusted to each patient individually, taking into account their different skin phototypes and skin problems. Okay, before we start with a new point or before we drifting apart, so I would like to ask Naja again. From the sensor itself, you are there. Yeah, Naja have give us four examples that they have been what type of sensor use. So for from for the example for for sensor, I would like to know uh, is it still used for of all four or we are using the latest only for the latest technology. For the letter for the photography for them. Okay, um the commonly used one between the four is the narrow band UVB because uh it uh it is the most effective one compared to the PUVA and the UVA one because uh PUVA is uh we use chemical and it can cause uh it's not a wide exposure. For, but for the narrow band, we can. Uh, it is more safer compared to the four. So, <laughs> so what we can conclude from the sensor types, the latest is is the most uh, friendly and most uh, is the best to use for right now. So moving to the next point. We are, we are about to ask the participant for, which is Suraya, about the type signal conditioning, which is uh, what signal is used or what is signal is produced you, uh, we are using the technology. So, yeah. 
Okay, okay we had used a detector to uh, to configure this uh, this eczema. First, uh, firstly, uh, a detector configure to receive optical radiation emitted from selected area of patient skin. An analyzer connected to the detector where the analyzer compares the signal from the selected area to at least one threshold per parameter and design, design its uh, selected area. A source configured to deliver doses of uh, ther therapeutic uh, radiation designated by the analyzer. Then the ana analyzer can compare the signal relating to the diffuse refl uh, reflectance and fluorescence. Uh, then for the signal, uh, for the UVB broadband, uh, we comprise, uh, comprise the range of wavelength between one, uh, 290 nanometer and 329 nanometer. Why UB, uh, UVB for a narrow band is a narrow band of wavelength centered at roughly 311 nanometer. And UVB narrow band causes less sun burning than other treatments. The sun burning sensitivity is at its max at, at around 297 nanometer and then UVB for narrow band with its spectra center around 311 to 313 nanometer generates very low response. The UVB for narrow band is fast become, becoming the recommended treatment to replace broadband UVB and PUVA. The best me method is uh, narrow band UVB. Raya again, from the signal itself, uh, is it told by the part first participant, which is uh, Shapika, the, the cons for using phototherapy is uh, is very limited as because the unit is only available from the dermatologist or from the phototherapy unit itself. So it, the so we can know that for is in Malaysia the, the technology is very limited. So may I know is it uh, the signal itself uh, harms the users? This treatment it has um, the UV light also, uh, itself has it doses. So uh, if it doses below the uh, in the range of um, uh, safe 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 uh, safe uh, safe range, so it is. Um, it is um, uh, it is safe for us to use the this UV UV uh, treatment. This point one is for the traditional method. I would like to ask: uh, Do you think is it is still relevant or not to use traditional method uh, nowadays uh, instead of using the modern technology, which is phototherapy, to cure the diseases? So, do you think that applying chemicals, something chemical, in, on your skin outer? Is it okay or is it uh, is it minimal only? Um, I think traditional treatment is the best because uh, it's not using electricity and not expensive and it's safe for for apa ni? <laughs> for for apply to to the body and effective. Uh, the, the the thing that I know is usually the elder or the veterans actually use the raw material. Raw material it usually come with sometimes with harm. Not only raw material is sometimes is very uh, it's not it's, it's not really safe. So uh, do you think by applying only or do you think we have to consume the uh, for better result? Apply to the body is the best treatment for the traditional method. Okay, so I would like to ask the three participants, which is uh, we uh, we uh, the participant which is uh, more nice. So are they re are they really sure or confirm that their modern technology is really relevant nowadays? Technology is, is more no, effective. I think technology is more effective nowadays, and I think technology is uh, the best way to treat the eczema because nowadays our uh, hospital or whatever use uh, uh, use all technology to the, uh, the electricity is the must. Uh, the electricity is the must in the hospital to treat the uh, eczema. I Okay. Next, I would like to ask uh, uh, is it open question. Uh, do you think, Najia, uh, the technology 
usually uh, can accurately or de uh, can detect the, the disease uh, at a fast rate instead of uh, is erasures and we apply the traditional method. But if we are using the modern technology, we can uh, instantly or immediately know what is the what is the problem with our skin or our health health. So do you think your your technology is good or uh, we still need the traditional method to cure the disease? Okay, uh, thank you for the question. Okay, um, for technology, yeah, we can have instant result. And the when you when we use uh, UV light, uh, UV light is much better than the traditional ones because uh, for the for the traditional one, uh, we need uh, we need to put that cream for uh, based on observation, and then uh, it takes a longer time to cure the uh, cure the eczema. <laughs> Is it next? I would like to ask Raya. Is it okay? Uh, because using the signal condition, we actually know the output itself. Instead of using traditional, we don't know how the output because we have to wait the result about uh, one week or within two days or what. So I would like to ask, is it using the signal condition? We uh, we actually know the output immediately or what? Is it the signal condition are helping the technology? Okay, so from the question asked, we uh, I think this is uh, yes, the signal can improve the the patient because from uh, we we all, we always experiment uh, this method from time to time to improve the result uh, and be more precise uh, for and effective of fashion so um, then the compared to traditional we don't know the internal condition of the patient just because we we apply the cream and we don't know the internal condition of the patient <laughs> After a long uh, explanation, uh, I as the team leader can like can conclude that or may the majority explanation uh, shows that and bright side is the modern technology uh, really shows us very uh, is a better is uh, a better method to use to cure the disease. So, uh, so I would like to ask. Uh, do you agree that I choose the modern technology is the best method instead of traditional as the as to cure the diseases? Do you agree? <laughs> no. Yes, I agree. <laughs> uh, yes, I agree. <laughs> I'm totally agree. <laughs> Oh, you, you. <laughs> we close our discussion. I would like to ask the chairman is herself from the technology from the modern technology. Do you think that we can actually clarify or identify the region, the unknown region? Uh, is it belongs to the healthy region or is it belongs to the uh, atomic eczema region? Okay. Yes. For the uh, first scenario that you that tell us, us. Yeah. Uh, first of all, yes, the phototherapy uh, uh, is used uh, to identify the unknown region instead of AE region or a healthy region. And with our discussion, uh, I, I will conclude that uh, the unknown region was towards the healthy region since it does not have any itchy or redness to the region. So, uh, so chairman, do you uh, can you please summarize all of, of the discussion that we have been discussed? Can you please summarize? Yeah. Okay. Uh, from our PBL today, I will summarize that enzyme is not contagious disease, and there is no cure. Uh, but it can be controlled to minimize it. And it can be treated by a few methods. Uh, from our discussion, which is the traditional method, and the second one is the modern technology. From our discussion, we we conclude that what is the best or what, which is the better method that you choose. The better method that I choose and 
my uh, my group is uh, the modern technology which is it is more precisely and it has uh, it, it is very effectively since the we don't know the internet uh, condition uh, if we use the uh, traditional method we just apply it out the, at the outside and with modern technology uh, it cure by uh, in the internally the internally too okay yes. <laughs> For this today, uh, our group we would like to present our BBL on uh, optical device. Me, Ni Amira Alia, Minti Ni Asni as the chairman, and uh, Ika Irina as the team leader, Shafika Hishan as the participant one, Wahida as the camera woman, Suraya as the participant two, and Nur Najiha. Uh, as participant 3 and lastly Siti Akrimah as participant 1 okay, the, This is our table of content uh, In this report we would like to, uh, to discuss on the abstract, problem statement, introduction, body and body uh, divided by two, traditional method and technology method and conclusion, lastly reference Firstly, it is on extract. In summarize, enzyme is a condition of a dry, itchy skin and rashes on the face, elbows, and behind the knees and the hand and feet. Scratching the skin uh, can cause it to turn red and to swell and itch even more. Enzyme is continuous. It is likely caused by both genetic and environmental factors. Enzyme may get better or worse over time, uh, but it is often uh, a long-lasting disease. Uh, be, uh, people who have a may, who have it may also develop health fever and uh, asthma. Okay. Uh, in this report, uh, we will discuss on uh, met, uh, specifically on traditional method and on um, technology method and uh, lastly the modern uh, technology method much uh, such as the phototherapy which is we, we, dis we discuss in this report uh, can be used uh, to detect the disease and then used to cure the problem which mean, which mean the uh, atopic enzyme it used uh, ultraviolet ray technology as a sensor okay our problem statement is our uh, scenario uh, a patient with atopic eczema, which known as AE, is brought to the hospital Kuala Lumpur under dermatology department. Uh, he is being requested to diagnose using optical equipment. Uh, there are three sections of the area within the atopic eczema patient, hand skin which are AE region, healthy skin region and unknown region. And our objective in this uh, task is to identify the unknown region in the towards AE or healthy region. Okay, this is uh, the introduction. I will pass to our team leader, Ika Irina. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So I'll be explaining on the introduction on atop atopic eczema. <laughs> <laughs> Atopic eczema is known as uh, atopic dermatitis or commonly called as eczema. Eczema is, stage, is a condition uh, where the skin is uh, having rashes, itchy and right, uh, red. Um, the, there are few causes that uh, can, be, can, be, can be the causes of the eczema such as uh, can be triggered by the environment factors such as smoke or pollen. Uh, next, also by food, which is nuts, dairy. Um, sometimes uh, uh, the eczema is on uh, can be caused by the irritants such as soap, detergent. detergent. Um, next, I will explain on the sim sim sim. Oh, sorry. So 
So next, uh, atopic eczema is usually runs in a genetic or uh, developed from the condition of uh, asthma or hay, hay fever. Next, uh, what can I see is uh, there is no cure for eczema. Somehow they can be can be prevent or can be treat, treated, uh, avoiding get, getting worse uh, using the traditionally or using the modern technology. And that uh, we group uh, actually has used the photography as the modern technology. Next, I will uh, I will pass to first participant for explaining more on traditional method. Uh, for the traditional method, uh, one of the way to diagnose the atopic eczema is the by take a sample of the skin and identify the symptom of the patient's skin by observing it using microscope. Uh, uh, it is less precise since it's non-invasive method. Uh, the other method is. <laughs> Uh, the other method is uh, apply the emollient cream uh, to keep uh, your skin moisturized can increase your chance uh, of avoid, avoid eczema, vitamin D, uh, traditional Chinese treatment which is uh, using acupuncture. Uh, other method is uh, apply bandage, take a warm bath. Uh, the advantage and the advantage of the uh, treatment, traditional treatment is uh, advantage, uh, not expensive, safe, relief, itching on contact, fast relief, effective, easy to get the treatment. This advantage is long term to heal, can present with asthma, allergic and so on, difficult to care, no care, less effective over time, close monitoring need, risk of atrophy which is a uh, body tissue waste away typically due to the de degeneration of cell consider long treatment uh, excessive use risk uh, cause of seizure poisoning by ingestion and cancer risk okay next uh, i will i will get to the participant too to explain more about uh, technology method especially uh, the diagnostic technique which is uh, we choose uh, water therapy okay for the technology method we use phototherapy phototherapy is also uh, is also called light therapy it means treatment with a special kinds of light phototherapy represents a valid second line intervention in this case when non pharmacological and topical measure has failed. Okay, uh, phototherapy use uh, ultraviolet light for treatment of eczema. Ultraviolet light is a type of electromagnetic radiation, as are radio wave, infrared radiation, X-ray, and gamma ray. Ultraviolet light which comes from the sun is invisible to human eyes. Phototherapy is effective in treating refractory atomic dermatis. This treatment may be administered as ultraviolet A, UVA, ultraviolet B, UVB, or combined UVA and UVB. Pisorelin plus UVA, PU, UVA, photosimotherapy may be treatment option in patients with intensive refractory disease. The phototherapy helps to reduce C, lamp implementation, increase vitamin D production, ramp up bacteria fighting system in the skin. Okay, there are several risks of using phototherapy, such as burning, skin damage, and skin cancer. The pros and cons using phototherapy is the process may be effective for several eczema or eczema that does not respond to other treatment. And the second is can prevent uh, scratching and help stop the skin drying out. And the cons is which is the disadvantage is only available for a dermatologist at a regulated phototherapy unit. Okay, uh, the lastly is uh, what you should expect with phototherapy. When you do the phototherapy, you apply a moisturizing oil to the skin and stand in the cabinet undress 
except for underwear and protective googles. The machine we activate it for a short time, usually just second to minutes, and we treat the entire body or just certain exposed area. After several months of uh, two of the treatment, the frequency of the visit can sometimes be reduced to once or twice weekly. If the thing continue improve, phototherapy can be stopped for a period to see if the eczema is, is remission. If successful, some patients may restart the cycle or simply come once or twice weekly to maintain their improvement. If it does work, it is, it is not a rapid improvement. Like some treatment is generally took one to two months of steady treatment and is necessary to start to see improvement. Okay, uh, for the sensor in phototherapy technique, uh, we have three types of UV light sensor that we use in phototherapy for atopic eczema. Uh, they are broadband UVB, narrowband UVB and UVA. UVA consists of two, that is uh, PUVA and UVA1. Okay, for the broadband UV, UVB, uh, this broadband UVB is the original phototherapy that has been used for 80 years. The length of treatment will increase uh, by each visit unless the skin will uh, unless the skin becomes pink. Uh, this broadband UVB is not very very effective at clearing skin conditions such as eczema and has now largely been replaced with a uh, narrowband UVB. Uh, for the narrowband UVB, uh, we use light tube that produces a narrow part of the UVB spectrum by using two wavelengths between 311 and 313 nanometer which penetrate more effectively into the skin than the older broadband source. The dose of UV given at each treatment is also higher compared to the broadband dose because uh, many of the unwanted wavelengths that cause burning are excluded. Once clearing is achieved, narrowband, narrowband UVB can often induce a longer period of clear skin. A cost of treatment to clear eczema involves two or three appointments per week and the time spent in the machine at the beginning is very short and will gradually increase at each visit. For the sorelin UVA, uh, the sorelin is a tricidic natural or synthetic UV photosensitizer that combines of furans and coumarin. It is a light sensitive drug that absorbs ultraviolet, uh, ultraviolet light and acts like ultraviolet radiation. Sorelin are used together with PUVA to treat skin conditions such as uh, vitiligo, eczema, psoriasis and skin problems related to certain lymphoma. Uh, this treatment can be performed by means of PUVA therapy wherein the skin of a patient are exposed to the treatment at, respectively. The sorelin are either taken orally or applied topically where the patient soak in a bath containing the sorelin then UVA light is applied to treat the skin condition. Uh, for instance, sorelin medication is taken 45 to 60 minutes prior to the ultraviolet light exposure. The amount of the sorelin is based on the weight of the patient and the length of the exposure depends on the degree of the patient pigmentation. Uh, by depending on the equipment used, the exposure may occur in a metal like box surrounding the patient with the box that run vertically and are generally 48 inch long and resemble fluorescent box. In newer boxes, there is an integral, integrated light meter that enables the operator to administer the desired amount of energy with an automatic shut off after that dosage of light is achieved. Okay, for the last one, UVA1. UVA1 is the name given to the waveband of electromagnetic radiation ranging from 340 to 400 nanometer. Uh, this UVA1 is a phototherapy that filters out lower wavelengths. It will penetrate deep into the reticular layer of the dermis, acting, acting on fibroblast, dendritic cell in, and inflammatory cell, cells, particularly T cell lymphocyte as well as mast cell and granulocyte. This uh, UVA variation will induce cell death in the presence of active oxygen molecule, such as uh, singlet oxygen, hydrogen peroxide, or superoxide radicals. It activates a uh, program and non program cell death. Uh, this treatment unit typically consists of a metal halide lamp equipped with a speci special optical fi filter. Smaller unit provide localized therapy whereas whole body treatment can be carried out using a lie-down or standing UVA1 cabinets. 
Uh, this treatment is performed five times a week and usually 40 to four weeks. Okay, based on the block diagram, a detector configure is used to receive optical radiation emitted from selected area of the patient's skin. An analyzer connected to the detector where the analyzer compares the signal from selected area to at least one threshold parameter and design its selected area. Then the source configured to deliver doses of uh, radiation designated by the analyzer. The analyzer can compare the signal relating to the diffuse reflectance and fluorescence. Next, move to the signal. The UVB broadband comprises the range of wavelength between 290 nanometer and 320 nanometer, while the UVB narrowband is uh, by the UVB narrowband of wavelength center at roughly 311 nanometer. The UVB narrowband causes less sun burning than other treatment. The sun burning sensitivity is at its max at around 297 nanometer and then UVB narrowband with its spectra center around 311 to 313 nanometer. It generates very low response. The UVB narrowband is fast becoming the recommended treatment to replace broadband UVB and PUVA. The best method is narrowband UVB. Uh, the traditional and technology technique were investigated in this uh, report and the treatment on traditional technique and also its advantage and disadvantage were identified and the next one is the sensor and type of signal conditioning were investigated lastly the unknown region was identified either it is the word AE region or healthy region as the finding of this problem based learning PBL uh, we could identify that the unknown region is toward the healthy region since it does not have any AE symptoms. The best way to diagnose this AE disease uh, is by the modern technology method which is uh, phototherapy and the best method in producing signal conditioning is using narrowband UVB sensor. This is our references. <laughs>